So my name is uh, Tatenda Mageja. I'm a vet uh, from Five Eight Animal Health. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about uh, deworming uh, and why it is important uh, to deworm our animals. Worms, uh, parasites uh, that live inside the bodies of our animals. Uh, some of the worms they are found in uh, infesting the skin of our animals, and uh, some are found uh, in the eyes. Uh, but m the majority of the worms are found in the digestive system. Uh, which is an important system which links nutrition uh, to growth or performance of our animals. So ultimately this is going to affect uh, our production and reproduction. And we know for, for a cattle farm uh, to be profitable, we need a cow uh, per cow per year. So if the animals are in poor body condition, they are not going to, to reproduce, isn't it? Worms uh, tend to cause a decrease or, or poor weight gain. Uh, up to about 30%. So basically we have three types of worms that are found uh, infesting or burdening our cattle. Uh, so the first type of worm that we have are called tapeworms. So these tapeworms are worms that, have, um, that are flattened uh, on both surfaces of their bodies and they grow up to about 5 meters and they are found in the digestive system of our animals. Then the other type of worms that we have are called round worms. So these are like spaghetti, uh, they have a uh, round cross section and we have also uh, what are known as flukes. Basically these are also flat worms and some come in various forms. Uh, the most common ones are being leaf shaped, uh, for example the liver flukes. So these worms, um, they tend to cause uh, uh, vari various clinical signs in our cattle, but the most common ones are weight loss, which is something that's chronic. We also uh, see animals suffering from chronic diarrhea and also there is um, poor hair coat and some of the uh, specific signs that you also see in animals that have worms are uh, bottle jaw which is like swelling uh, under the jaw. So in terms of worm control uh, in our animals uh, we do what is known as uh, prophylactic deworming. Uh, where we want to deworm our animals when they are not uh, sick from worms. Uh, the problem with deworming our animals when they are already sick is that uh, we will not be able to go back to the same production level we have had before. So it's always good to do prophylactic deworming and for that case we do what is known as uh, strategic deworming um, and we do uh, this deworming uh, in times of the year when we um, when they are high, when there is a high probability that our animals uh, will be at risk of worm infestation, uh, so basically in cattle we are doing that three times a year. In terms of the types of dewormers that we have on the market, uh, there are various uh, methods that we use to administer these uh, dewormers in our animals. Uh, so the first method is called injectable deworming, uh, where we are injecting uh, the chemical directly uh, into the bloodstream of the animals. It's a 1% ivermectin injection and this dewormer is um, effective against roundworms. The second uh, deworming method uh, is called oral deworming uh, where we are giving the medication through the mouth. I'm going to demonstrate how to do oral deworming using an equipment called an automatic drencher. You can actually set uh, the volume that you want to inject your animal. So this animal, I'm going to give it 50 ml of this uh, Ranox dewormer. So I'm going to place this nozzle of the equipment at the back of the tank there. Then I give the animal the dose. You allow the animal to swallow because if you don't allow the animal to swallow, uh, the dose is going to go the other way around, which is into the lungs, and that will cause problems like uh, respiratory issues. Uh, the common disease is called um, aspiration pneumonia. So you allow the animal to swallow.